In this video, we're going to be discussing whether you should be using Adobe XD or Figma before building your website on Elementor. Now, I've been asked this so many times, and it is kind of a controversial topic here because I know that some people say you should just build it on Elementor, get it done all in one platform, and it's too much of a hassle and it's extra work to just create a template or a mock-up on, um, on Adobe XD or Figma. And I completely understand that. And I feel like it varies person to person. So let's say that you have never used Adobe XD, you have never used Figma or any photo editing software like Photoshop or anything like that. And you only know how to use Elementor. And there is somewhat of like a learning curve. Then I feel like in that case, then you should maybe use Elementor because you feel like it's going to be too much of a learning curve and you don't have time. And I completely understand that. But I feel like you should definitely make up some time and learn Adobe XD or Figma. And the reason being is that I've had situations in the past where I've worked with clients and I have built the website only on Elementor and we went over and, you know, designed everything and everything was looking great. The client, for some reason, wanted to change up the design quite a bit. So then it kind of became more of a hassle because on the platform, he was saying, change this, change that. He couldn't make up his mind. We didn't have a solid design, really, that he just approved, right? And it was a lot of back and forth. And then I ended up learning Adobe XD. I went over and started to use that with my clients. And it just became super seamless. Like a client would say that they don't like a specific design, whatever. I would just go in Figma and just do it really quick. Now, I know that you're thinking you could do the same thing with Elementor. Yes, you can, but you have to go ahead and make it responsive. You have to go ahead and uh, maybe add some custom code to it, you know, and then you don't even know if they're going to really like that exact design or that exact feature. You're going to show it to them and then maybe they're going to be like, no, can we change this? And you're going to be like, wow, that's a headache. Now I have to go and do this. When on Figma or Adobe XD, you can just do it really quick. And another thing that we do in my agency is that we don't move forward with the development until we have the mock-up approved. So basically how the process goes is we close the client, they sign the contract, we do the onboarding, we have a discovery call, we get everything that we need, and then we go ahead and create our mock-up on Adobe XD or, or Figma, depending on which of my designers I'm working with. So I go ahead and have one of my designers create the mock-up, and sometimes I will look at the mock-up, and as a project manager and a designer, I'll go ahead and sometimes have to make some adjustments to the mock-up because I feel like we're not going in the right direction and I have to give feedback to my designer. And we go back and forth. And then once we have a solid mock-up that I think that the client will love, then I go ahead and um, send the mock-up off to the client or we have a call. Now, most of the time, the client will view the mock-up and they'll be super happy and they'll love it and we'll just go ahead and move forward. But there has been times where the client looks at the mock-up and they like it, or maybe they don't. And they say, hey, can we do this and maybe remove this part of it or change this, the mock-up, change this color? You know, I don't really like this page in particular with the mock-up. Can we move a different direction? Or they'll just tell me, I don't like the design. Can I get another revision? Now, let's say we were doing this only on Elementor and I went over and created the site and just sent them the link or we ended up having a video call or something. And let's say they don't like it. Well, the thing is though, now I have a website that the client doesn't like the design, the mock-up, you know, doesn't like the build. Now I have to go and pretty much scratch that entire WordPress install or, you know, recreate the pages, whatever. And then we have to go with a different design. And it's much more of a hassle to have to go and actually rebuild it and have my other guy rebuild it on, on Elementor than just to create it on Figma or Adobe XD again. It's the process is just so much faster designing it on Adobe XD than building it on Elementor. Now, I know that there are other issues as well. Whenever you're working with a designer and creating it on Adobe XD or Figma, let's say the designer creates it on Figma and they send over the design and sometimes you're like, I can't create this sort of design on Elementor, right? They'll, they'll have some sort of object on the side, whatever. And you're like, how do I do that? And I get that that can be frustrating. And that's why it depends on whether you're at that level yet, where you can create those custom effects that a designer is sending you. Now, of course, that's why you have clear communication with the designer. And sometimes the designers don't really know the limitations of Elementor. 
And that's why they design stuff a certain way, right? And you're like, I can't create the certain slider or this carousel this certain way because I'm limited with Elementor. And I understand that. And I feel like that's why um, a lot of you guys would rather just build it on Elementor. But that's why I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel because I go over a bunch of custom stuff that you can do um, with your Elementor websites that are outside the limitations of Elementor. And that's kind of what I'm all about when it comes to building your website with Elementor is that you should learn custom CSS, eventually learn JavaScript and, you know, jQuery. And then that will help you enhance your website on Elementor. And you won't have any limitations anymore, really. You won't have to use a lot of third party plugins. Your websites will be so much faster and it just be a lot more smoother if you do it that way. But of course, there is that learning curve. And now I have spent years using Elementor, so I understand where you're at. I used to just only use templates and, you know, blocks. And I used to just try to make everything look great that way. And I used to just try to put everything together. And that worked in the beginning. But as I was scaling, it just seemed very inefficient. And that's why I recommend that you use Adobe XD or any design editing software. So basically just to wrap this up, I would rather design the mock-up first and then send that over to the client and then have that initially approved instead of going back and forth on Elementor, whether he likes this or doesn't like this design. I would rather do that entire process on Adobe XD or Figma or Sketch, whatever you're, you're using. I'd rather build out the mock-up, get that approved first, get that out of the way. And then once that's approved, we can just go over, make the build, and then send that to the client. Maybe the client's gonna want this or that, minor, minor changes, and then we're done. And I've done it like that many, many times. And the clients have been super happy and I haven't had any issues. Now that's just my opinion. Please don't hate me. That's just what I've learned through experience. And hopefully you guys can get an idea of how you guys should be building your websites when it comes to your web design business. Now, I usually don't do these type of videos, but if you do like this type of video, let me know in the comments, you know, let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of excited just to talk about random stuff. I might be doing live streams in the future just to get used to kind of giving you guys my take on things because usually I just make tutorial videos and I don't really give you guys much of my opinion when it comes to web design. And I feel like I've had success in my agency and I really just want to help you guys out. So if you like this sort of content, like the video, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe me so you don't miss out on any of my videos and I will catch you guys in the next one.